motivational speaker, Kiki. You do have to work at your hair. She's just not me. explaining this. She's just not explaining this. It's like, I don't like this question. Right. No. <laughs> You're live. We're gonna start off with the sister tag. Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I know we missed our Sunday upload last week, but look, we are here with an even better video. We are here with the sister tag. So you guys probably know my sister, Alicia. Um, she makes an appearance on my Instagram a little bit and my YouTube. She <laughs> tends to take the piss out of me quite a lot. She actually, <laughs> just be reserved, she actually made a page recreating mine and Craig's pictures and taking the piss out of them. Now it is a private page, but it is hilarious. Okay, so yesterday I put out on my page, I was like, hey guys, let us know what questions you wanna know. So how we're gonna do this, like we did the boyfriend tag, we are gonna answer questions. No, we're gonna answer the tags. So Alicia's gonna answer questions on me and we're gonna see how well she knows me. Hopefully she'll do better than Craig. Then we're gonna answer your questions because we have a couple questions. So we're gonna start off with the sister tag. Let's go. Okay, who is the older slash younger sibling? I'm the younger. Yeah, and people always think that I'm young because I look young. So they don't actually think like I'm 24 and she's 19. So like people always think we're like quite similar in age, but it's just because we are hobbits. Like we're very small people. <laughs> okay, Alicia, what do you like about your sibling? Um, good night. What do you like about me? Come on. Well, I mean, <laughs> I mean, I like the way you're so hardworking. I mean, it's something to look up to, and also that I like that you have a really nice wardrobe because you know, all those little sisters gotta steal steal the clothes. Lisha literally lives <laughs> in my wardrobe. Like I'm just like, oh, I haven't worn that. We had a fight the other day <laughs> because I always let Lisha borrow whatever she wants. I'm like, you know, look, my wardrobe open, enjoy it. But Lisha, on the other hand doesn't like to share it's because she's a younger sibling and she has younger sibling syndrome no where she no. doesn't like mm -hmm. to share she's always had to fight for her end so she doesn't share her clothes so I put on one of her clothes and she was not happy about it I mean we won't talk about that it's a it's a touchy it's a touchy subject so I mean yeah. next one <laughs> <laughs> what annoys you about your sibling you go you can take this one no you're answering what oh. annoys you about me um nothing <laughs> Kiki's very headstrong, and um, when she gets 90 into her head, there's no going back after that, so, I mean... I'm working on it, okay? I'm working on listening to people and taking opinions in. She's Sometimes. like um, a cat, you know. <laughs> Sometimes it's basically what happens. People are going to think I'm a bitch. She's going to justify it now. No! <laughs> Sometimes I'm a very headstrong person. If I get something into my head, like I'm doing it. So someone has a different idea now. I'm working on it, listening to other people and listening to opinions, but sometimes I just get a bit ahead of myself, so. Right. <laughs> Let me start my list about Leisha. Leisha, you don't speak, she can't speak to her in the morning. She doesn't speak. It's like she doesn't wake up till around 1 p.m. You don't talk to her, you don't wake her up, and that is that. I'm sorry, you're saying this like nobody else does this. Everybody's not a freak like you and wakes up at 9 o'clock going, Oh my god, it's a beautiful morning, let's go! I mean, like, I feel this is all very negative towards me. Like, I feel like I'm getting all this <laughs> negativity. What do you and me have in common? So, um, I mean, we both like going to the gym. That's one thing. Yeah, we both like going to the gym. I mean, I think it's best when, like, you always hear, like, opposites attract and everything like that. So, I mean, it's kind of a situation like this. Like, Kiki has a lot of, like, different things, and I have a lot of different things that I like. But yeah. I think we, like, come together and, like... Yeah, we're not, like, you know... We don't, like, do the exact same thing. Like, Leisha's into different things, I'm into different things, and it is what it is. So, like, we like the gym, so we always train together. We like Instagram. We always get her content. Make sure you're following her, guys, as well. I don't know. We, we have a lot of similar traits and stuff, but then we have a lot of, like, we're quite different in other areas as well. Which is good. You don't want to be the same. Mm. How often do you argue? I mean, like, I think this question is very, like, up for discussion because, like, to be honest, like, we're sisters. We're obviously going to fight. Like, sometimes we don't have, like, mad blowout fights, but we'll have, like, we'll come down and I'll be like, Alicia. Yeah, we have, like, we have little, like, arguments, but, like, they're not, like, big things. Like, it'll be like, Alicia, did you take my hairbrush? Give it the fuck back. <laughs> that sort of stuff. It's like more sisterly. I'm gonna call them sister fights. And this is the cat fight that's coming out. Yeah. <laughs> She's very. Describe me in three like words. P 
pretty. <laughs> uh, that was a sarcastic pretty. She literally <laughs> didn't mean that. Pretty. 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 I mean, uh, you have a really strong worth ethic. Which I know, I know you're gonna laugh, but it's never driven. Actually, look, driven. That's the word. Driven look at is me the word in my business heard. terms. <laughs> Worth it. Right. No. Okay. I sorry. am very driven. To be fair, I'm always doing something. But so are you. Leisha's there, but she's only 19. She doesn't have to be driven. She can do whatever she wants. No. I Whereas mean, I'm 24. You know, I have to be doing stuff. You know. Kiki is super helpful. I love that about you. You're always like trying to help people, and like everything you do, you're like, oh, I'll do this, so then someone else can maybe enjoy this or something like that. That's what I. That's what I love. I like living vicariously through people. Like when people are happy, it makes me happy. Who keeps their room cleaner? Oh, okay. No! Isha lives in a hole of just, like you go into a room and you don't know what's going to jump out at you. I mean... She's like a sloth. Me and my brother are like, oh, the sloth is awake. No, this is not very nice right now. I mean, I keep my room as clean as I it's want It's like an organized mess. Like if, if you ask for something, she'll know where it is, but it'll be in a pile. She'll be like, oh, it's in the pile there under the wardrobe. And I'm like, yeah, oh, no, okay. I think a lot of people can agree with me on this, that like, when your room gets messy, you'll clean it when it really bothers you. So like, when my room is messy, I'll clean it if it bothers me. Okay, who takes longer to get dressed? You, obviously. Me. Leisha is like low maintenance. Like she doesn't wear makeup, she doesn't wear tan, she's naturally tanned. So like, she just got the jeans for tanning and I didn't. So obviously it's gonna take me longer, it's not my fault. I mean, I won't say anything. Like Except <laughs> you do have to work out your hair. But not style it, but like, Dying it and stuff. Oh, oh, yeah. My oh. hair is more low maintenance. I thought you were like telling me secretly my hair is just not nice right now. I was no, like, no, your hair's nice. I was like, are you serious? <laughs> are you serious right now? Okay, what is my weird obsessions? Do I have any weird obsessions? Ugh, gherkins. I love gherkins. That is weird. I love gherkins. <laughs> that is so weird. What's your weird obsessions? Why do I think about this? I think I'm just normal. Do we have nicknames for each other? Yeah, well, you're like. I, oh, call, no, I, I call her Lulu Bell. I always call you Kai. For some reason, like for the last few months, I've just been like Kai. It's because Kai. I can't call you Keelan, and then I don't know. Kiki's just lost it for me. Yeah. See, basically, Leisha dubbed me like she named me Kiki, but now because like I'm Kiki Fit and stuff like that on Instagram and stuff, I think it it's weird for her to call me Kiki. I don't know. I don't really know what goes on in your brain. Kiki. What's one thing you can do that your sibling can? So what, there, is there something that you, I can do that you can? Is there something you can do that I can? Leisha's really good at playing the piano. No, I can't do that. Leisha can like play, you can give her any song and she can just play it and I'm like, this is lovely. That's my hidden talent. She's actually really good and she never Lighty plays. material. Leisha's look in the market no, for her. We in won't the market for a boyfriend. We'll get into the boy troubles soon because God. I feel like we need to sort your life out. Oh no. Oh I'm no. like Leisha's counselor. Like I sort her shit out. Is she on opera sing? Like, <laughs> I mean, like you just don't go down the street and be like, hey, you know, I can actually sing opera. It's, it's like, so funny though because I, I like never sing anymore and I'm like classically trained so I sing opera. So like, I didn't sing for Craig and we were together, what, a year and a half before I sang for him and I was literally shitting it. Like I was like, he's gonna look at me differently. Like this is so weird, I'm the gym girl. So he came home and I made him face into the wall because I was just so nervous <laughs> singing for him. And I mean, Craig and I like, we're not like nervous around each other at all, but I was just nervous for this. And I like sang for him and he thought I was like playing a tape and I was like, no, 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 that's me. Cause that's me. Cause I can't sing. Like I can sing, but I can't sing otherwise. Like I can, I'm like really, really good at opera singing, and so it just comes out of me. Sometimes I'm just like, whoa. Do you know? Just. Do you ever notice? Like I'm just thinking back because you're saying like, oh, like there's some things that I can't do that you can do, whatever. And I mean, <laughs> when we were kids, like if mom put us into swimming, you like excelled at it. Like I mean, like. Excels like she was like I was that little loser that just like did everything. No, and I was, like, like teacher's pet. So odd. And then we did ballet, and then they were like, "Kiki, you could be a prima ballerina." And I was like, "What?" Poor and Leisha then, was just like the wanderer. Like she used to just run around. Like, yeah, mom. <laughs> no, mom, I was like, like, no, it was like the one, Leisha like, used to be obsessed with like tags. So oh, like tags off like knickers and stuff. Like she used to call them PCs. 
I don't know why they're all pieces, but the, the tags that are like they're silky tags. So at least she used to wander around the place after us, like with her hand up her skirt in her knickers, feeling her PC. So okay, now that sounds very creepy right now. She's just not explaining this. She's just not explaining this. It's like your childhood memory. It's like a teddy or something like that. And she's just not in her knickers. This sounds weird. Like <laughs> this just. No, but I think a lot of I think a lot of kids do that though. They love feeling the. the I soap. know one of my friends does it as well. So you know what? Right. End of discussion. This is just not talk about this. Okay, what is the funniest childhood memory of your sibling? Well, I just told mine. I think that's pretty funny. Like we'd be in mass and everything. And she'd be running around with her hand in her knickers, like feeling her PC. <laughs> I'm like, don't embarrass me too much. Oh, I have another one. I have another one. I have another one. Okay. So we were all sitting at. Um, breakfast me my brother my mom and dad and Leisha what Leisha used to do when she was younger she used to sit up on the counter and put the toast on and every time the toaster popped she'd scream to and we'd all like turn around and be like okay Leisha you're all right and then one day she screamed and she was like to and there was no toast and I was like what is this child at she had put my mom's phone in the toaster and when it popped up she was screaming to do you remember that? I mean, it was hilarious. this like four. kind of proves, you know the way they say block is don't break. It wasn't broken. Mm. I was just testing it out. It was melted. It was it actually melted. an experiment for Nokia. Yeah. I was like, hey guys, I'm only four, but I will experiment how good your phones are. To be fair, when Leisha was younger, she was just so funny. Like obviously I'm six years older than Leisha, so I can remember more kind of funny things because like I was like, I'm a lot, of, like I'm older than you. See, I was the star. Kiki had to mind me. No, Alicia was like the child. I remember I, I like really, really prayed to God. I was like, I had seen, I was in, I was in basically a photographer's, I don't know why I remember this. Do you remember, do you know you used to remember certain things? So I was in the photographer's studio. My, I was getting pictures done of my brother because my mom wanted like communion pictures or she wanted like baby pictures of me and my brother. And I remember seeing this picture and he had up on his wall of two little girls dressed up in the same thing. And I was like, that's what I want, mom. I want that, I want a little sister. So every single night since then, I prayed and I was like, God, please send me a baby sister. And then my mom got pregnant and I remember Alicia came and I literally wanted her to be sent back. <laughs> like, she was a joke. I remember she like used to, she took my stuff and she, I had this like lipstick kit and then she put it all over my fake, my dog, do you remember my- I think there's a I, bit of an underlying issue But basically, we haven't spoken about. <laughs> sorry. I mean, I'm sorry, I will get you the Lenny Kelly lipstick, okay? <laughs> but I wanted to send her back. What is a funny moment of me? Do you know what, I'm, I'm actually just, Shook by that. How many times I've heard that story? Amy, Amy, Amy. No, I literally wanted to send her back. This is all because I bit her. She bit me. She's still sore about that. She was literally crazy. I used to be like, Mom used to be like, okay, put on like that dress on Leisha. And I'd be like, no. Are you closer now or when you were younger? I think we're closer. Oh, definitely now. closer now. But I think it's because when we were younger, there was such a big age gap. Like, when you're younger, the age gaps matter more. So there's, there's six years between us. But now, like, we're 19 and 24. So, like, we're like, like pretty much. It doesn't seem that much at all. Every time you say six years, I'm like, oh my god. Yeah, when I say six years, I'm like, jeez. Like, you're like old. I'm not old. She's old. Is that a great thing? No, it's not. <laughs> Which one of you they will likely to get married first? Probably me. Probably. Well, you never know. Realistically. I could be swept off my feet. No, you couldn't. <laughs> you are. Not with the me. young men these days and all the stories I've been hearing. So no, no, you couldn't. I mean... <laughs> Basically, what was I gonna say? Yeah, I'm definitely gonna get married first. So we were, did I tell you this? We were walking down in Spain and Craig just turns to me and he was like, do you wanna just go get married? And I was like, wow, this is so romantic. Like we could just go down to the courthouse and just get married. And I was like, wow, Craig, like, no. I was like, this is not the proposal. You need to do better. Like. <laughs> and I can't really match that up in me, honest, so <laughs> next one. Okay, we'll do the questions now. Cause I feel like we've answered a lot of stuff. Like, I feel like my people, my subscribers, <laughs> my people, my people have got to know you. My people. <laughs> Leisha and I are quite similar in the way, like we kind of talk and stuff like that. If you guys haven't noticed, does Lou want a boob job? Yes. Okay. Whoa. 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 Yes, she does. <laughs> I'm so 50 50 about this because I think a lot of girls can relate to this because like it's always like something you're like, oh my god, I love big boobs or whatever. But I think I'm kind of coming to the terms with like. But the thing is, I mean, yeah, like to be honest, I wouldn't. Um, Leisha's all natural. Leisha has naturally big lips. Like, what? <laughs> and she's naturally tanned. I obviously get my lips done. I have no lips. I mean, I don't think there's anything wrong. Like, to be honest, 
I just don't care what people think. So if I so if I said to you, me. if I said to you, you get a boob job tomorrow, would you do it? I'm like free boob job, take it or leave it. I mean, like you want the titties? You're just gonna give them to me, like I would because yeah, see, so the answer is she does want a boob job. But you wouldn't. Okay. Never okay. Mind. What's Lou's fitness journey like compared to yours? Well. I didn't have anyone training me. Alicia has a personal trainer, so I'm her personal trainer. So her fitness journey is great. It's really good. She knows everything because I am her trainer. I mean, like, yeah. I can't really say anything on that because, like, it's great. Yeah, she great literally, fun. like, because obviously when I started my fitness journey, I didn't have anyone showing me what to do, so I did a lot of wrong things. But obviously now that I'm a coach and I'm coaching her, obviously it's gonna like be easy for her because she doesn't have to worry about like what she needs to eat. It's all done up for her, macros done up for her, training done up for her. She literally has to do nothing. Whereas I had to learn. I had to learn it all and I had to make the mistakes where she doesn't need to make no, mistakes. No, she's so hard done by. I know. Do you use ever compare yourself to each other or get jealous? To be fair, I think that's the one thing that we don't do. We actually don't get jealous. Yes. Like I genuinely, I get happy when Leisha does well. Like if Leisha's doing well, it, I, it wouldn't like rain on my parade. I don't feel like that. I feel like me and Leisha are on different trajectories. So Leisha's doing her thing, I'm doing my thing, and like we're growing together. So the two of us, when I do well, she gets happy. When well, this I'm speaking on behalf of her, but when she does well, I get like really happy. I'm like yes. <laughs> so no, because we're having <laughs> we're having this like we were talking about this in uh, in in Marbella, and I was like. I never get jealous of you. I'm kind of like, you're something to look up to. And it's more like, now I'm kind of like, okay, I really want to like, be like you in a way. Cause like, you're really like, like she is a businesswoman. She's independent. She's the whole lot. Like, it's But you do have to remember though, like I always say to her, I was like, you should never feel like in competition or jealous or whatever with me because I'm six years older than her. I've done a degree. I've done college. Like I'm, I'm on a different, this is, I always see this quote and I was like, don't compare your chapter one to someone else's chapter 20. So I'm like on my chapter 20. She's not even talking. Sorry. This is my motivation. People need to hear this. I'm on like my tra chapter 20. Leash is only getting started. There's no, there's no reason for her to compare herself to me because we're literally on different like wavelengths. <laughs> you're just so free. No, but as in you're 19. When I was 19, I literally just was going into college and like doing, I had no idea what I wanted to do and that's all right. There should be no pressure on anyone to like know what they want to do when they're 19. Motivational speaker, Kiki. No, but like, I think this is like relevant. She's taking the piss out of me. This is so relevant. Um, Leisha, what's a business degree like? Is it very demanding? I hate business. <laughs> That's all I have to say about this. I mean, I think one time I was trying to explain something to you and you literally, I was mid talking, she turned around and she goes, you know what, Leisha, I actually don't really care. <laughs> no, because the business stuff- I don't stuff, understand it. Business like, stuff okay. just does not like, I just don't care about business stuff. Like I, if I'm being honest, people talk business to me and like, I just like, I'm like, okay, I really, really, really don't understand any of this. Like if you talk science to me, I'm like, I understand and I'll listen, but business, I'm just like, whoop. My course is very demanding. Um, I mean, she has you. 12 hours. No, like, it's actually, well, obviously cause it's all online now, it's a bit less, but, um, Last year we only had like 10, I think. But like, no, it's fine. Like if you think, if you like don't know what to do in college and you like, like business a little bit, then definitely, I'm definitely looking to doing it. Who loves Craig more from Craig? You guys get on really well. <laughs> it makes me really happy. Like they, they go off together, they do their little stuff, you know, it gives me a break for the two of them. All right, mom. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my God. No, we all get on pretty well, to be fair. Get off your phone. My boyfriend, we love boy advice. I'm really good at boy advice because I'm in a relationship and I understand. No, I ask Kiki brain. one thing. She goes, mm, I don't know. <laughs> sometimes I like can't relate, but sometimes I can. Sometimes I can, I can help. I feel like I, I think about things and I give good advice. My boyfriend just broke up with me, and I'm trying to get back into texting and talking to other boys, but I'm finding it difficult because of getting hurt before. Have you any such advice? This is actually kind of relevant to you. If you broke up, your boyfriend broke up with you, you have to realize that that relationship wasn't he wasn't the one this is how i like to look at it like he wasn't the one so that's fine then you have to like put yourself out there because you need to find the one i know it's really scary they say when you're falling they call it falling in love because you're literally like falling there's like a possibility of like actually falling because you're falling in love so i think that you have to like put yourself out there it's tough it's not easy and like obviously if your boyfriend has broken up with you your confidence is going to be knocked a bit your self-worth is going to be a bit like on the low side but i would say 
take some time out before you don't jump straight into it. I would say like take some time out. And honestly, this sounds cliche, but literally take time out to just do you and learn to like love you, love your own company. Because I feel like a lot of girls will jump from a relationship to another and feel under pressure to go straight into a relationship because they feel lonely or they need someone to be supportive and that's not a good reason to go into a relationship. I think it's really important that you take your little break and you work on yourself, pick up a hobby, do something that makes you like that sets your fire and then then when you're ready, like you'll know when you're ready that like like for me I'm like perfectly content by myself and Craig only adds to my happiness. He's not my entire happiness because I I, I get happiness out of other things but he like adds to it, like we're like a team. So that's what you wanna look for. You wanna be completely content within yourself. And then when you're content and you're happy with your own company, you have your own shit, add, find a significant or other to add to it. You want them to add to it. And you don't want to be like finding another person to like lean on because you're hurt. Cause I think that's the biggest mistake that when like you break up or someone breaks up with you or you break up with someone that you jump too quickly into something. Do you have any additional comments? I mean, I think I totally agree with everything you say. It's just like, like, there's no point to sugarcoating it. Like, you're gonna feel like shit, you know? Yes. But you know, you just gotta pick yourself up, keep going. You know, I don't know, like, as you're saying, like, pick up a hobby, you know? There's been plenty times I have, like, I've had my moments and whatever, like, everybody does. But I mean, you just gotta, like, I just threw myself in the gym. Like, that's just what I like to do. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you really just have to be, like, happy in you, really. You know, you have to be happy with your own company. And like like you were saying, like I just think like that is the most important thing because like you can't be relying on someone to like make your day feel better or something like that. Like you have to find a way, like you have to like go out there and find a way how to like you know, like, oh I did this today, so my day is complete without someone else having to like complete it for you. Like I, I like you were saying, Craig is like he does complete your day, but you have so many other things that you do, and you're like, yeah, like, you don't want to like just rely on us. This made me so happy because I don't know, like I did something else in my business, or something else like that, you know. I honestly think you just need yourself. You need a, a Gigi. fluffy Pomeranian. You need yourself a Gigi. A Every palm. time I come home and I feel sad, I'm just like, Kiki, Gigi just makes me feel so happy. She's a cuddler. She's a cuddler. Okay, so last question. We're gonna finish on this question um, because we've done a lot of chats. So, do you get a lot of unwanted male attention? Because of the photos you post, how do you deal with it? Personally, I actually don't get that much male attention. Um, obviously because I have a boyfriend. And as well, my page is 70% women. Like, we are all the gals. So, like, when there's, like, weirdos on my posts, honestly, I just delete them because they kind of make me feel uneasy. I, I get mean, dick pics, actually, in my Instagram. <laughs> like, all the time. I'm just like, oh my god, no. It's disgusting. Sorry. <laughs> I don't want them, like... <laughs> Do you ever get like weird? Yeah, I got, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I mean, I get the odds. Oh, I'm going to Greece. Would you be interested in I going in a too. luxury boat with me? And it's like, yes, okay, I'll just get a flight over to Greece there now and get on your luxury boat. No, I always get being like, oh, hey, honey, like I will be your sugar daddy. I'll give you oh, five hey, thousand. Hey. Oh, I'll give you five thousand euro a week, like to be my sugar baby. And I'm like, I am my sugar own sugar mama. Like, I make my own money, no thank you, next. I mean, oh god, if we had- But like, like, no hate on people who are sugar babies, like, I think if that's your profession, like, that's cool. But like, just for me, I'm like, I'm my own business. I'm like, I don't need anyone's money, thank you very much. I mean, if I had to go through some of my request messages, like, oh my god. I mean- But there's some girls that make a lot of money out of like, like, actually run their own business as being a sugar baby. Yeah, like- It's not personally for me, but like, you know? I don't like this question. Okay, so we're gonna leave it at that. I think that was plenty of chats. Um, so thank you so much for tuning in, guys. Make sure you are following Leisha at Lou Nugent. We will leave a little, a little tag for her. And if you like the video, do let me know, like it, because it lets me know what videos you like. And make sure you're subscribed to my channel if you're not already. And thank you so much, and we will see you in the next video. Bye. That's what I was doing. Hey. What's up guys? Follow that doesn't make your day. Follow my channel. Bye. Bye.